this improv story is based on the idea man gets trauma dumped like the story commence shame that I took the sound off because that would have been good about the vaz but the story commence Craig was walking down the street one day minding his own business and he got a message for his pal Jeff. And Jeff said, um, have you got a minute? Craig was like, maybe if I leave this for five minutes, you'll go, oh, it's fine, it's all right, just leave it. Left it for five minutes, that didn't happen. Messaged uh, Jeff and said, I was up. Jeff said, I just need to vent a bit about this job that I've got, this new job. Craig went, I was up, and then realised he'd said the same thing. I went, I better add something new to it. What's going on? And then was going to add to that, is, you know, because it sounds like, what's going on? What's, what's, what's this all about? What's, what's the matter with you? What the fuck's going on here? Get this room tidied. You know, it kind of sounded like that. We just left it. Anyway, you may be thinking, what is it with Craig? What's up? With, why is Craig like this? This is why. Because Jeff, as usual, went like that. Type message, type message, type, type, it's typing a message, typing a message, type a message, right. Craig would look back, type still typing, right. Bang! That appears, typing a message. Right. And Craig was thinking, I just, you know, uh, fucking... Boss as a colleague, no, no, quite bullying me, but you know, just not really in a position to sort of talk back and all that. Don't want to make a bad impression, and it's just I can just tell I've made a mistake. I want to go back to my old job, but I just know there's a person who actually works here that I remember for college, fucking arsehole, Doesn't seem to have changed. That was like fucking fifteen years ago. Uh, bit of a prick then. Seems to be many a prick now that he's got a position of power. It's just, it's just fucking shite. Um, if they said this would happen, that would happen, I got in, it's just, dog, you know, just on and on. And Craig was thinking, right, so what percentage of the amount of words that's getting sent to me right now do I need to send back? So if I get, like, sent 500 words of a moan, can I get away with sending back 10% of that, like 50 words? Or maybe, you know, what can I go? Christ, that shite. Um, I feel that if you get sent that, you've got to at least send back at least um, like a quarter or something. It just went on and on and on. And then it stopped and it seemed that was it. And then I, I ran over. Right, ran over. Right. Now I want to say that shit Christ, that shit. Um, it's just they've said this bit. It's almost like you could see it. It's like it's almost like bullet points. They said that thing. Don't know what to do about this uh, boss. Don't know what if there's a job and all that. They said I put that there, and you know this thing's deleted, and I know it wasn't me. That don't know how to approach that. Not quite asking Craig questions. What should I do? What should I do? But just like if I don't reply to that specific thing, it looked like I've not read it or I don't care. Uh, and I day cared, but you know, no. So Craig just went like that. Um Christ. Do 
Sorry to hear that. Hope it all works out. And left it at that. That's not much a reply you might think. Here's a clever thing. Jeff then replied with, oh, it's pretty bad. Are you busy? Craig went, good, he's stepping into it. Not really. Why? Oh, just your reply. It's a bit short. Thought maybe you're busy. No worries. Good. That's what Craig wanted. Craig went, question mark, just question mark. Jeff said, no, I'm not getting at you. Just thought, just fancied a chat about it, just needing to vent. Craig replied with, right, I don't know what it is you think I did, but I really don't need this right now. Jeff went, what? Sorry, I don't know what you mean. And, and uh, Craig replied with, right, could you just calm down now? This is getting aggressive and I'm not comfortable with it. Jeff replied with, what? Question mark in caps. Craig replied with, this is your final warning. And then I walk. Jeff said, type in a message. T type in a message. Craig replied with, okay, we're done. The end. Craig employed the VAS method. V. Vuck off. It's a true story. Vuck off. It's a true story because I read it. It's here. Oh, it's Scotland. What's that? Oh, this is actually a, a Scottish person. Jenny Dreisen, etiquette expert and the Scotland-based co-founder. Scotland-based. Say Scottish. I think it's Scotland-based. Say Scottish, go. V. Vuck off. A. Asshole. And then S and E suck eggs. You don't teach a granny to suck eggs. Now you might be thinking, what's uh, I don't get, I don't get the suck eggs thing. Nobody really does. So it doesn't really matter.